Greetings and welcome. We hope all is well. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Please take this time to like this video. This is a channel for the people so let's get involved and help make it grow. As promised today's video is titled, Take Your Kids Back, A Call to Action for Parents. So, let's get right into it. As a society, we have come to accept a standardized approach to education that does not account for the unique needs and strengths of each child. This has resulted in an education system that places a heavy emphasis on test scores and conformity, leaving little room for creativity and innovation. The current education system also places a significant burden on parents. We are expected to be involved in our children's education, yet we are often left feeling powerless when it comes to making meaningful changes to the system. We are told to trust the professionals and to leave it to the experts, but what happens when the experts are failing our children? It is time for us as parents, to take back control of our children's education. We have the right to demand a system that nurtures our children's creativity and individuality, and we have the power to make it happen. The current state of the education system has been a topic of discussion for years. Many people feel that the system is failing to meet the needs of children, and this sentiment is backed by statistics. According to the National Assessment of Educational Progress, only 35% of 4th graders are proficient in reading, and only 34% of 8th graders are proficient in math. Additionally, high school graduation rates have remained stagnant for the past decade, with only around 85% of students graduating on time. This is a cause for concern, as education is the foundation upon which children build their futures. If the education system is failing, then our children are not being given the tools they need to succeed. As parents, we have a responsibility to ensure that our children receive the best education possible. After all, we are their first teachers and primary caregivers. We need to shift the focus of education away from test scores and conformity and towards creativity, innovation, and individuality. We need to embrace the fact that every child is unique and has something valuable to contribute to the world. By doing so, we can create a system that nurtures our children's natural curiosity and helps them develop into well-rounded individuals who are ready to take on the challenges of the world. The importance of letting kids explore. Children are naturally curious and love to explore. It is crucial for parents to encourage this behavior and allow their children to discover their interests. We must provide them with a safe and supportive environment where they can learn and grow. Proverbs 22 6 states, Train up a child in the way he should go, even when he is old he will not depart from it. This verse reminds us that it is our responsibility to guide our children towards the right path and provide them with the tools they need to succeed. As parents, it can be tempting to want to control every aspect of our children's lives, including their interests and activities. However, this can be counterproductive and can hinder their growth and development. Children need to have the freedom to explore and discover their passions and talents. By doing so, they can develop a sense of independence and self-awareness, which are essential skills for success in life. One way parents can encourage exploration is by providing a variety of opportunities for their children to try new things. This can include signing them up for different classes and activities or taking them to museums, parks, and other places where they can learn and discover new things. It is also important to give them the space and time to engage in free play, where they can use their imagination and creativity to explore the world around them. It is also essential to create a safe and supportive environment where children feel comfortable taking risks and trying new things. This means allowing them to make mistakes and learn from them without fear of judgment or punishment. This is particularly important when it comes to academic pursuits, where children may struggle and need extra support and encouragement to overcome obstacles. By nurturing our children's natural curiosity and allowing them to explore, we are giving them the gift of self-discovery and helping them develop a sense of purpose and direction. As parents, we must resist the urge to control and micromanage every aspect of their lives and instead, trust in their abilities to learn and grow on their own. Proverbs 22 6 reminds us that as parents, we have a significant role to play in shaping our children's future. However, this does not mean that we must dictate every decision or choice they make. Instead, we should provide them with the guidance and support they need to make their own choices and find their own path in life. The importance of letting kids explore cannot be overstated. By giving them the freedom to discover their passions and talents, we are helping them develop essential skills for success in life. As parents, we must create a safe and supportive environment where our children can thrive and grow and trust in their abilities to make their own choices and find their own way. The impact of societal stress on parents, parenting is not an easy job, and it is only made worse by the societal stress that has been placed upon us. 
from financial pressures to the pressures of meeting societal expectations, it can be overwhelming at times. However, we must remember that our stress affects our children as well. Children are highly perceptive and can sense when their parents are stressed, which can have a negative impact on their mental health and well-being. We must prioritize our own mental health and well-being to ensure that we can be present and engaged parents for our children. The demands of modern society have put immense pressure on parents. According to a 2020 survey conducted by the American Psychological Association, nearly 70% of parents reported feeling overwhelmed by their parental responsibilities. These responsibilities include everything from providing for their children's basic needs to ensuring their emotional and mental well-being. The pandemic has only exacerbated these challenges, as many parents have had to balance working from home while also managing their children's virtual schooling. One of the biggest sources of stress for parents is financial pressure. The cost of living has continued to rise, and many families struggle to make ends meet. Parents may have to work long hours or multiple jobs to provide for their families, leaving them with little time or energy to spend with their children. This can have a negative impact on their relationship with their children and their ability to provide a supportive and nurturing environment. Another source of stress is societal pressure. Parents are expected to meet certain expectations when it comes to raising their children, such as providing them with a good education, extracurricular activities, and socialization opportunities. The pressure to be the perfect parent can be overwhelming and lead to feelings of inadequacy or failure. Social media has also played a role in exacerbating this pressure, as parents are bombarded with images of perfect families and lifestyles that may not reflect their own reality. The stress experienced by parents can have a significant impact on their children's mental health and well-being. Children are highly perceptive and can sense when their parents are stressed or overwhelmed. They may feel neglected or unimportant, which can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, or low self-esteem. In addition, Children may internalize their parents' stress and begin to exhibit symptoms of anxiety or stress themselves. Therefore, it is important for parents to prioritize their own mental health and well-being. This means taking time for themselves to engage in self-care activities, such as exercise, meditation, or therapy. It also means setting realistic expectations for themselves and their children and accepting that perfection is not attainable. Finally, parents should seek support from friends family, or professional resources if they are struggling with their parental responsibilities or mental health. Parenting is a challenging job that is made even more difficult by the societal stressors placed upon us. However, it is important for parents to prioritize their own mental health and well-being in order to provide a supportive and nurturing environment for their children. By doing so, parents can help mitigate the negative impact of societal stress on their children and create a healthier and happier family dynamic. Kids are individuals and should be treated as such, every child is unique and has their own strengths and weaknesses. We must treat each child as an individual and tailor their education to their specific needs. The education system often fails to recognize this and treats every child the same, which can lead to children feeling unmotivated and disengaged. It is our responsibility as parents to ensure that our children receive an education that is tailored to their individual needs. Indeed, every child is an individual and should be treated as such. Each child has their own unique set of skills, talents, and interests that must be recognized and nurtured. Unfortunately, the education system often fails to recognize this, and instead, treats every child the same, providing a one-size-fits-all approach to education. This approach can be ineffective and can lead to children feeling unmotivated, disengaged, and even left behind. As parents, it is our responsibility to ensure that our children receive an education that is tailored to their individual needs. This means that we must work with teachers and school administrators to create a learning environment that supports our child's specific strengths and interests. We must advocate for our child's needs and be actively involved in their education. It's important to recognize that the needs of each child can vary greatly. Some children may excel academically but struggle with social skills or emotional regulation. Others may have difficulty with academics but have a natural talent for the arts or sports. It's crucial that we identify these strengths and weaknesses and work to create an education plan that addresses them. One effective way to tailor education to a child's individual needs is through personalized learning. Personalized learning is an approach that allows students to learn at their own pace and on their own terms. It involves creating individualized education plans IEPs, that address each student's unique needs and goals. Personalized learning can be achieved in various ways, including online learning, project-based learning, and mastery-based learning. Online learning allows students to work at their own pace, 
while project-based learning encourages students to work collaboratively and apply their learning to real-world scenarios. Mastery-based learning focuses on mastery of specific skills and concepts rather than just completing a set curriculum. By embracing personalized learning, we can help our children achieve academic success while also nurturing their unique talents and interests. This approach can lead to increased engagement and motivation, as well as improved academic outcomes. Another important aspect of treating kids as individuals is recognizing and accommodating their different learning styles. While some children may learn best through traditional lectures and note-taking, others may learn better through hands-on activities or visual aids. By understanding our child's learning style, we can help them succeed in school and in life. There are several learning styles, including visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile. Visual learners learn best through visual aids, such as diagrams, charts, and pictures. Auditory learners learn best through listening and may benefit from recorded lectures or discussions. Kinesthetic learners learn best through hands-on activities, while tactile learners learn best through touch and manipulation of objects. As parents, we can identify our child's learning style by observing how they interact with their environment and how they learn best. Once we understand our child's learning style, we can work with teachers and school administrators to ensure that their educational experience is tailored to their unique needs. For example, if our child is a visual learner, we can provide them with visual aids such as diagrams or graphic organizers to help them understand concepts better. If our child is a kinesthetic learner, we can encourage them to participate in hands-on activities or experiments that allow them to explore and learn by doing. It's also important to recognize that children may have different learning styles for different subjects. For example, a child may be a visual learner in math but an auditory learner in language arts. By recognizing and accommodating these differences, we can help our children succeed academically and develop a love of learning. This was part one. Part two will be coming shortly. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you have enjoyed it and found it informative. Remember, don't sit by and allow the system to hurt your children. Let's work together to ensure that all students have access to a quality education. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our future videos.